Hello there. In this video, I will share with you how lifelong learning can make you a better business leader and bring up four such business leaders who have done just that. I will be right back. Welcome back. My name is Raymond Huan, and if you are interested in business, own your own business, or you're just looking out for tips and tricks on how to operate your current business better, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button right now. Today, we live in a world where many things change more quickly than it did so a decade or so ago. Many of the products and services we used today didn't even exist 15 years ago, like iPad, Uber, Dropbox, Airbnb. At the current rate of change, your skills and your business can quickly become obsolete and irrelevant if you do not improve yourself and your business. Warren Buffett is an American business person, the CEO and chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, and considered to be one of the world's most successful investors. Charlie Munger is Warren Buffett's right-hand man at Berkshire Hathaway, and together they have an estimated net worth of $80 billion. $80 billion. That's more money than I can count. More importantly, despite their old age, both are still widely known to be as committed lifelong learners. Charlie Munger famously said that the other big secret that we are good at is lifelong learning. Warren is better in his 70s and 80s in many ways than when he was younger. If you keep learning all the time, you will have an advantage. Buffett and Munger estimate that they spend 80% of the day reading or thinking about what they read. And if they aren't reading, Munger says that they spend a lot of time talking to people who are intelligent and talented. People who can teach them new things at the end of the day. So how does lifelong learning benefit these two men? Munger says, we learned how to outsmart people who are clearly smarter than we are. Sir Richard Branson is the founder of the Virgin Group and has an estimated net worth of 5 billion US dollars. He famously said that the best way of learning about anything is by doing. He believes that experience is a good teacher and that mistakes provide a lot of lessons that allow one to grow. While Branson has built strong brands like Virgin Airlines, he has also had big public failures like Virgin Cola. With that, he still says, it's more likely that you will succeed because of what you've learned from the occasions that you didn't succeed. The most important thing is not to be put off by failure. Branson also believes that a good leader learns from listening to other people. This means getting ideas from the people you work with and getting feedback from the people around you. The more one listens, the more one will learn. And his learning philosophy and can-do attitude has led him to bring the Virgin Group to where it is today. Bill Gates famously founded the Microsoft Corporation, and he currently has a net worth of about $88.9 billion. He has a very healthy view of failure. He said that success is a lousy teacher. It seduces smart people into thinking they can't lose. Like Branson, Gates believes that failure and mistakes provide a lot of lessons for growth. Mistakes force us to change our tech and improve ourselves so that we can succeed the next time we try. Gates also is a ferocious reader, much like Buffett and Munger. He reads an average of about 50 books a year. 50 books a year. All the four business leaders whom I've mentioned are without a doubt amongst the most successful entrepreneurs in the world. And all four of them have one thing in common. They are lifelong learners and they acknowledge that this is the key to their success. But how exactly does lifelong learning help one achieve success? Well, a study published by the Journal of Applied Psychology conducted a field experiment between two companies of soldiers conducting navigation exercises. After a series of exercises, each company was asked to review the events. However, while one company was asked to focus only on the mistakes and failures, the other company was asked to focus on both success and failures. While both companies showed signs of learning, the company that discussed both their failures and successes learned much more and developed richer mental models. What this means is that they are better able to interpret events and experiences and have a better understanding of what to do 
and what not to do to ensure future success. So what does this mean for business owners? Our success very much depends on what we know and how we can access information and resources. And while failure is a good teacher, we cannot afford to fail all the time just to learn something new. That is why lifelong learners look to other sources to enrich their knowledge. Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Richard Branson, and Bill Gates learn not from just their own experiences. They show that they also learn by reading books and listening to the people around them. And they do so continually and conscientiously throughout their day and throughout their life. So to sum up, here are the things that you can do to be lifelong learners. Read regularly. Talk to people smarter than you. Listen to people. Learn from your experiences and mistakes. Learn from other people's experience and mistake. If you're interested to know more about what a business has to go through when facing exponential growth, you can download the first chapter of the book, 20K to 2 million in two years, absolutely free by visiting my website. The chapter talks about the differences between a good and a great business and puts out questions that make you consider how you can turn your business from good to great. Thank you very much for watching this video and I look forward to catching up with you on the next video very soon.